Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Madam AF Francier, or you can call me Holland. Um, I am back with a video on how to style your box braids. And all you need are some scrunchies and um, bobby pins if you have some. So this is how I take care of my box braids at night. I wear a curly blue satin double layer bonnet. So I simply tuck my braids in and take them out when I'm ready. So obviously the first hairstyle idea is just wear your braids down, maybe toss them over to the side and get that, that side swept look. easy breezy right um, but seriously I'll get into some hairstyles if you want something a, a, just a little more complicated the first obvious one too would be you know some up some down you can always just put the middle section top middle section of your hair up and then wrap like a braid or two around the actual hair tie so it can look like uniform. Or you can do all of the front. up and don't do it too tight you don't want to pull on your edges um i love the look of baby hair with the braids but i personally don't do it myself I don't wear baby hair with my braids because I don't like product buildup on my braids. When I wear braids, I don't wash my hair. I'll like clean my scalp. See? So you got the half up, half down. Go all the way up. Some bigger scrunchie. This is probably one of my favorites. Just to wear it all the way up. Especially with three kids. Five and under. You put all the way up and then take like two braids and wrap them around the hair tie or take more if your hair tie isn't covered yet give you that 90s toy just this look super cute another favorite is the bun, so you split your points on half, and you wrap the one half around and pick up the other half as you're going, and twist it, and wrap it around the first half, and tuck it under. Simple bun, one hair tie. Super easy. So you just grab your front braids. Just a couple. This is a nice hairstyle. If you want to keep the braids out of your face, but you still want to wear your hair down, it's a 
sides and then you crisscross them and tie them. And then bring it under underneath. And then you can pin the ends. Pin the ends down with your bobby pins. Kind of like a braid headband. So here I'm grabbing the Side front. We're gonna do a bun up top with the back hanging down. So here you can twist it. crunchy around it pretty simple and cute here's another hairstyle uh, for if you mostly want to wear your hair down uh, I want all my hair to go this one side. So you braid all your braids over. And then you're going to do like a flat braid. A brush braid. Flat against your head. smaller depending on the look that you're going for and I'm gonna write it all the way down okay and then I'm gonna tuck the braid the end of the braid under my head I tuck the end of it behind the braid and pin it down with the bobby pins. did one bobby pin because I'm gonna take it down to keep doing hairstyles but like you really want to make it secure actually I'll go ahead and put one more bobby pin from a uh, face over matter Let's just give it a try so it's still the braid all the way across and you braid it back all the way down and then the back area we're gonna do two sections <laughs> this section 
Okay. Make sure all the braids are in the braids, but they say you're gonna have to get braids. So you're gonna pin up. Okay, and you can always secure them with a rubber band. This, this is the last braid. to bring this back where it was underneath the braids. And pin it in place and use as many pins as you need to make sure it's secure. And then I'm gonna crisscross the two big braids in the back. pin just to secure it for now but like I said you can always secure it with a rubber band braid this one this is a cute little updo okay I'll secure the bottom for now with a bobby pin is take this one that's gonna go in this direction and I'm gonna tuck it into this braid and like I said just use as many bobby pins as you need to secure it all the way I'm not going to use it because I'm not going to wear it. And secure this one on this way. But you get the gist. Looking. All right, so the style you're gonna pull half of your braids to the front. And you're basically gonna make a ball. I got the front of your head. Make sure you're not pulling too hard on the braids, especially around your edges. And then you do a second ponytail in the back. can do a ball in the back too. Two balls. 
Just make sure it's not too heavy for you. Another simple one. It's just like uh, the first hairstyle. Just a little extra hair hanging out. braid or two and wrap it around. Super easy, super fun. I just, you know, two pieces out in the front. Or you can turn this into a bun as well. Super cute, easy. Just make sure you're not pulling on your braids, especially around your hairline. And then here's another bun, but this time all the hair is gonna be pushed mainly to the front. I'm gonna keep wrapping my big hair tie. Mm -hmm. And make sure it's not pulling. <laughs> you can make it as messy or not messy as you like. Make sure all the ends are tucked in. And then follow it up with a hair tie. But certainly not least, the most common one that I do throughout the day, especially as a mother of three, especially if I don't have a hair tight on hand, is I'll take a couple of braids on each side and then tie them. Tie them like two times. And just pull slightly. Simple, easy, and you don't need any hair ties or anything. Just make sure it's not pulling the hair. Just this is typically how I wear my braids all day while I'm at home, unless I'm wearing my bonnet. <laughs> and also, this is how I put my bonnet on at night when I'm trying to go to sleep. Just pull my hair up. Grab my bonnet and tuck them in. It stays on. The bonnet stays on. It's not too tight. It feels good. I got it from the curlyblue.com. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and let me know if you have any other styles you'd like to see me do.